What's up, guys? My name is Rhino, and we're back for another Fortnite video. What is up? Wait, I already did that. So here we have combos for Blacklight, the third and final skin of the final Reckoning pack, but certainly not least in my opinion. So let's get to it. So out of all the three, this was definitely the easiest one to find combos with. Same sort of combos, whatever match Violet, if you saw the, that combo sphere, will go well on him. So I did say yesterday that I like Violet more than him, but I quickly changed my mind because I do think that the jacket closed on Violet does indeed ruin the vibe a little because as you can see, he's got the rib cage design on his jacket, which does look pretty sick in my opinion. Like I know it's not his actual bones, but when it comes to the female, the open jacket, it looks out of place and just messes it up a little bit. It kind of ruins the vibe. I like how he's all covered. The only bit of skin that's showing is underneath his gloves. But still, and I love the mask too. The mask actually looks cool with the teeth, the way it looks, and the uh, scratches on it. Whereas the female's mask looks kind of cheap, not gonna lie. I'll show you, do a comparison with them uh, right after we get the backlinks in. So not hard to find backlinks at all. It's purple, pink, and black, and a little bit of blue actually, because when you look at it from certain angles, it looks a bit more blue, or at least very dark purple. So, you could stretch some blue on it. Illusion Rune looks fantastic, I was just using that. Indigo Wings, that's what he comes with. As well as that, he has a Glow and No Glow Earth style. And the No Glow Earth style, the difference is actually pretty noticeable in the dark, because they've changed the lighting where it looks darker in the nighttime. And you can definitely tell the difference between the Glow and No Glow style in the nighttime. During the daytime, the No Glow style tends to pop out a bit more and looks nicer. Well, obviously the glow style is going to look good at night. Now these are uh, Violet's wings. I do like these ones a little more, but they don't have a no glow at style. And they are quite bulky. Stitches looks great. You would think that these would come with him. And uh, Indigo, oh, excuse me, uh, Violet would come with the Indigo wings because it would kind of make sense because they're called Indigo wings and she's called Violet. And the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, Indigo, Violet. So it would kind of make sense. I'm just saying, and they're just a recall of the dust wing, so pretty lazy, the wings. But I do think the skin, it's grown on me a lot. I think it's better than Purple Skull Trooper. I love the way the bones distribute it on a diagonal pattern, instead of being all over his body and looking messy, like it does on Skull Trooper. I love this skin. I love this skin a lot. Like, a lot. It's really, really good. I wouldn't say it's as good as Willow, but I think it's better than Katrina. Or maybe it's just as good as Katrina. And those two are probably my least favorite skins of the set. But considering that I still love this skin, shows how amazing this set is. The Final Reckoning, I'm not sleeping on it, guys. You're sleeping on it. The Final Reckoning is the greatest set in this game. Why? Not just because of the skins. The skins are freaking amazing. Chaos Agent, Teeth, Jawbreaker, all amazing skins. Black White, great. Katrina, great. Willow, amazing. But it's their connections with the storyline. Chaos Agent other than Midas, has become the most important skin to this storyline. Follows through with Midas Trilogy, or not Trilogy, excuse me, the Midas Conflict. Uh, Teeth and Chaos Agent are part of their own saga. See, this is the Indigo Winds on her. It looks almost better on her than it does on Blacklight, because it's not covering as much as her skeleton. But yeah, it looks kind of small on her. I guess it's a similar problem to have Skull Trooper versus Skull Ranger. I just think the skeleton design looks a bit cramped on Skull Ranger, the female's body, whereas it just looks more suitable on the male's beefier body, just in my opinion. You don't, don't get mad at my opinions, guys. You're entitled to your own opinions. I, if you love if you love those skins, I have, I'm absolutely fine with that. That's just my opinion. Do not roast me. Don't get 10 of your friends to blackmail or dislike me, guys, because we all know that's not the most mature decision, and that's what I try to be, even though I'm not the most mature. We all try to be, guys. So, yeah, I just think that the Final Reckoning's best set, Teeth and Jawbreaker, they're part of their own saga. You know, Jawbreaker created Teeth. Uh, Willow is has a bit of a storyline to save the world. And then you've got Blacklight and Katrina, who may not be as affiliated with the story, but they are part of the movie because in Season X, we had Gotham City, which had posters of this skin, along with Teeth, Chaos Agent, Jawbreaker, um, not Jawbreaker, uh, Willow and Katrina. So they're all part of the movie. They all have a connection with the story. And they're all very unique. While these wings are kind of lazy, the skins are fucking amazing. But so yeah, Final Reckoning, do not sleep on it guys. It's the greatest set in this game. Might not be your favorite set, but it is the greatest set in the game. Or well, one of the greatest sets in the game, do not lie. But anyway, that's gonna wrap up combos for Blacklight and combos for all three Final Reckoning skins. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know the like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think of this skin. Is it better than Violet? Is it worse than Violet? Why? 
Why is it worse? Why is it better than Violet? Let me know, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Now take care. Bye-bye.